What's up guys, your boy Gus back in with another video and this time I'm ranking all the Has From Tale episode. Now, this does include the pilot as well. And to be sure I remember what happens, I have the Has From Tale fan wiki up to if I can remember exactly what happens in that episode, I can read from there. But anyways, I don't want to drag this on too long. So let's start. First we have the pilot which I just learned actually has a name which is that's entertainment and i don't know what had actual name i just found it was the pilot but anyways um i'm trying to yeah uh to briefly summarize how the pilot what the sort of pilot is is that it's to introduce us to characters and how charlie wants to help everyone now from pretty sure there are three songs in here it was the first song that Charlie sings in the be beginning of the episode where she sings she wants to help people the second song inside the very demon is a rainbow which Charlie sings when she's at the news station to explain how her hotel works and how she wants to help sin sinners and then there's the and then there's the final song, which is Alistair Sings, which I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. And yeah, brief summarize. What happens is that Troy goes to the new station, sings about how she wants to help people, and it wrote that well, he introduces Angel Dust, and we also get introduced to Cherry Mountain and Serpentius. We also get to see Maggie before this. And then after after new stage and a fine group to injure us cherry bomb against Serpentius. We then go into a car where we see Charlie, Maggie, and Injured Us. Now Injured Us is one of the people they have at the hotel. That they are trying to, to try to help him repent, be redeemed, not repent, be redeemed. And let's just say it's not going the best with Angel Dust. He's still the way he is, which is very sexual oriented, and still enjoys killing people, which is the things they don't want him to do. And then, once I get to the hotel, and at one point, someone knocks at the door. It's Alistair, the radio demon, one of the most feared demons in hell, who has suddenly came back after seven years of just being gone. And it found out, and we even find out that Alistair already wants to help Charlie with the hotel, which is suspicious for him. So Charlie doesn't make a deal with him, but does want his help. And then, also helps a bit, revamps the hotel, and then he also some two people to help Husk and Nifty. Yeah, I don't remember her. Nifty. And then we go to Alistair's song, and then there is a little scene with Serpentius where we see a bit of how scary Alistair could be, where he is basically. Uh, Drags a uh, Serpentius and his machine into a uh, dimension, and just so that Alistair's not a uh, guy to be trusted. And that's pretty much the first episode. Again, one thing I want to say I will not go into it that much about the music. I will make a different video where we get to all the songs and link them as well. But this is a good pilot. I'll keep it a a, but it might go down depending on how few all of these are just. Now overtune. Now overtune I'm not so sure where I should put it. The songs are okay in this one. There's Happy Day in Hell and Hell is Forever. Hell is Forever is good, it's just a, uh, and Happy Day in Hell I don't like that much. And this episode, the story is good with it and we get to see Adam for the first time, who I love. Adam is the best, he really is. 
But yeah, I don't want else to say, but this is a great episode. I'll put it up after Pyramid because Adam is such a cool character. Uh, next we have Radio K K Killed the Video Star. Which were you get introduced to three new character, uh, new characters, and technically four because he comes back from the pilot. But just begin to introduce to the V's Fox, Valentino, and hang on a minute. Now I can actually just read it to see if it comes out. Uh, episode 2 Does they say her name? Uh, Velvet, there she is. Velvet. Yeah. And then we also get to see the pinches again, who now comes into the hotel, also wanting to be redeemed. This episode and two songs in it are Stay Gone, which I, I'm gonna be honest, it's overrated, but I'll get into it more why I don't think it's overrated on the songs tier list. But other than that, and then the other song is I think it, remember what they call I'm So Sorry. Uh, uh, let me show the songs, hang on. There, so yeah, it, it starts with sorry. That's the one. It starts with sorry. This is what it's called. But yeah, I like Sir Pritius as well. Sir Pritius and Adam are two favorites. This one's great. I don't think it's as good as episode one, but it's still great. And now we have Scrambled Eggs. I just gotta remember what it's called. It says right there. Now, Scrambled Eggs. I gotta remember exactly. I don't remember what it's about. But I gotta remember what it's actually like. The characters and songs are. Hang on, there. Scrambled eggs. Let's see here. So this episode we get into those some Oberos. Two main important ones we introduce to are Camila. Uh, what's her name? Camila. I just say Camila. And Celestis. Did I say it in the future? Yeah, Celestis. I hope they even say it correctly. There were two other Oberos. All the other ones are there, but we don't really get to know who they are. Now, the two songs in here are Respectless and Whatever It Takes. I'm pretty sure that's the one it's called. Yeah, Whatever It Takes. Now, these two songs are great. I love them. Respectless, banger. Same with Whatever It Takes. Car Carmela Kamal, whatever her name is, it's She's such a great character and a great singer. In this, I think I'll, this. I'll put this at A as well, below at the overtune, but I'll put Pilot down to B. I would guess not Pilot isn't as good as these, but it's a great starter to the show. Next, we have Masquerade. Yeah. 
Now, Masquerade is is an episode that focuses on two characters: Yosu, the Ying, uh, Angel Dust, and Husk. best to explain a bit but I'm going too much detail because well I probably can't really talk about this much of it. I don't gotta talk about this episode that much but basically pretty short episode involves Charlie uh, coming into Angel's workplace while he is in the middle of filming and let's just say Valentino isn't the biggest fan of him if you don't know, Valentino is Angel's boss's boss, you can say. Neither Angel or Valentino are happy that she's there. And she ends up missing it all up. And after we see Valentino abuse Angel Dust, he just forces Charlie to leave, and then we get into Poison. I like Poison a lot, that's a great song. And after poison we then get to see see that angel comes back to the hotel and as he leaves she does goes to the bar to get a drink now husk is there as the bartender is and gives him what he wants the strongest he has but it ends up at some point with angel storming out leaving and then husk was basically forced to go and bring him back to the hotel. Now, just uh, one thing you have to know Husk and Angel don't really like each other that much up until now. But that changes. And then, you can get the CC scene where Husk finds what Angel Dust is and keeps an eye on him just in case of something happens. And then, when he notices that one of the people Angel is training with tries to put something uh, put something in into a swing and force him to and get him to bring it her stops and she gets Angel out, out of there and then get a very emotional scene about how Hus can relate to how Angel is and how he's not as the same as he normally was and we get to a bit of backstory of how Husk is uh, in a, a deal I sold his soul in his inner deal with Alistair and how before Husk was an overlord. And then we get into Lucy Baby, an amazing song. And this basically develops their two relationships or their well, better friends, you can say. I still think he's gonna be candid and might be lovers, but it hasn't been confirmed yet. And then they come back to the being happy. Charlie apologizes to Angel for moving into his workplace, and Angel is fine. He she gives her, and then that's basically that. Can we see anything else? But that's and now this one I love. I think it's from my birthday. Uh, now we have to be dad. Uh, be sure. Now this episode basically involves with Charlie asking her father, the King of Hell, Lucifer, to help with the hotel. Now when Lucifer gets there, she's trying to Charlie trying to make look the hotel as best as it can be for her dad. Now one thing to know, Charlie and uh, Lucifer don't have the best relationship. And that shows where they aren't really the closest. And then Lucifer meets Alistair and they, they don't get along at all. 
And then, it, at one point, it leads to a song, Hell's Greatest Dad. Now that song is great. And then we also get to choose Jim Nancy, who is an associate of uh, Alistair. And then we get to see this scene with Husk in Alistair, which might imply that that Alistair might be in a concert for someone that's not confirmed at all, but the way Husk is saying it could be. And also, it's not the biggest fan of him talking about that. But he doesn't end up killing us. He just threatens him. And then, you get in into a fight. A bunch of criminals burst into the hotel to get Lucy because she has ruined one of their cars. And then it leads to Alistair helping by transforming into a more demonic form and killing them all. And then it leads into where Lucifer sings his charity about how he is trying to help save the forbidden and the well, which leads into a song. What's it called? Uh, more than anything. That song is amazing. I'm like, way better than how sweet it's that. And then it ends with Lucifer helping Charlie by getting her a meeting with the angels. This episode is great as well. That's a great episode as well. And now we have Welcome to Heaven, which is. Episodes where we get to see heaven for the first time. And. And then, in this episode, we get to see Cherry Bomb again. Who we last saw in the pilot. And now, because she got this meeting with the angels, she's gonna prepare for it, and that is coming with her. So the rest of him are left alone. So Charlie decides to Charlie after hearing a chair bomb wants to take house uh into the house for some fun. She she decides to pay cherry bomb to take everyone with her. And then we get to we get to heaven where 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 Charlie and Maggie meet like two of the hell like higher I'm swinging one of them being Sarah and we get to see Emily who is kind of the next in line to be in charge but she, they're not the full lead, they are not the high, highest up, but they are the higher up, but they aren't at the top. And then we get to the first song, which is just called Welcome to Heaven, if I remember. Yeah, Welcome to Heaven, the first song. Yeah, and then we get to see a scene, have a song, where Charlie and Maggie pass Adam and Louis. Loot. I don't know how to say her name, sorry. Wait, we're gonna destroy it. And then, because the thing is in heaven, most people don't know about the exterminations. Only the higher, like, again, the higher ups know about it. And then, see the scene where we get a bit of that is backstory and get to hear see that Becky surprise surprise was an angel and during one of the exterminations she decides to save one of the demons and let's just say they weren't happy with that so Lou as punishment stabbed 
Let me sure I'm sent. And they've turned to die. We're Charlie and I'm saving her. And the relationship began. Game game okay, is seen where that's extreme well laggy well Louis and Adam are seen to laggy that day that she should get Charlie to disappear get Charlie out of heaven as fast as possible or the roof for her seat. We should be seeing the court case where for Charlie to show her point of how long sins can be between how they can be good. First Adam writes a list about what sin, what people need to do in order to be a good person and get into heaven. And then, and then Charlie shows one of the, the people at the hotel, Angel us, who, yeah, I added the name the day, has done all the things in the lit on the list that I'm says, but he was still not in heaven. And which then leads to a song which starts with Emily which is called I gotta remember sorry uh, you didn't know that's the song and one cool thing about this song is that when it begins with Adam and Louis singing together they start uh, going in with the hell is forever lyrics which is cool and then we get the real bad. The rest of the Adam and Louis say to Charlie that Maggie is an angel. And that's kind of how the episodes end. So we're gonna get that's Yeah, that's how this how feels and basically when the examination comes they will be going for the hotel first this episode I like many things now we get to the Adam Ward now we have Hello Rosie and this episode we are introduced to well Rosie And then, and one, but it's a little start with well, Troy being very upset after finding out that Becky is an angel and didn't tell her. And so, it was a point where Alistair, he did, I can't really say the nicest person, the person that he is, makes a deal with Charlie, not for so, but for something in return in the future. Charlie takes it for the information of how to kill the angels. Now after Charlie figures out, she comes up with a plan. She and Alistair will go over to well to get to over to Kendalltown in order to get enough people in order to win this war. Well, Maggie that by, by Charlie's kind of demand but also want to tell Charlie goes to Cam Camilla in order to get her assistant in killing the angels but she has killed one before and to say the least this leads to two separate stories Charlie getting the help from the cannibals and Cam and then he getting help from Camilla and her weapons that can kill angels. And we then we get to hear two songs in this episode. Out for Love, which I love this Out for Love is amazing. This one is made out for love. 
Okay, ready for this? He needs a full key, so I'm not to sleep. Okay, he needs that to you. Hopefully, it's a banger. How sweet this episode is. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, game can do the show must go on. The final episode of season one. As they get and and as these people get ready for the war, the angels training them, getting training the prepared Adam and, and the angels are getting prepared as well to kill. Go to the hotel first. And we didn't get the war basically beginning. And we just back to the songs. Yeah, more than anything is for birds in uh, the final part, right? Answer is injured and is basically skips, and then it comes to a point where Serpent just tries to stop Adam, but Adam just blasts him away, which then leads to Charlie and Becky charging it at Adam, and then we get the fight between Charlie and Adam, which is very one-sided. Adam is basically destroying Charlie, but then who comes in for a save? Other than the big man of hell himself, Lucifer. And let's just say Lucifer toys with Adam. Adam can't do anything. And good chance Lucifer is not even using all his powers. He's just turning into animals, flying around him, joking about him. But then, it's final. And Lucifer doesn't kill Adam. Because Charlie doesn't want him to, because he sees good in people. He, if he goes in sinners or in winners or in, in the heaven, the people in heaven, whoever they are, she, she goes, she sees good in them. But despite that, I am so nice by the hands of Nifty, who stabs him right in the back. And then we get into the song. Uh, what's this? Uh, the song uh, finale? It's the song called, which has a lot of references to previous songs we do here. And this song is basically every single character sings in it, like all the main characters, including Marcus and Valentino. Which this is this was a, this is the first time we hear Valentino sing. Which is great because we haven't seen before. It's great. And for what I know, I'm not sure this is entirely true, but I bought it when I hear the song. And probably that song, the person that was in the part, ha sound has instrumental chord oh, in the beat, sounds like a FNAF song. If that is true, I want to hear it again so we see what it is. Uh, it doesn't say it here, hang on. Um, oh, it's a pretty Christmas about the cherry bomb. Can't be our life doors. But yeah, 
And it, it also pitches basically uh, this is just like the from that stuff. In case it was her. And then let's see the end post not a post credit scene but like the end we see as the apprentice got redeemed. He's in heaven. And that's how season one ends. A great ending I have to say. And this episode, it's a great episode man. I'll put it in this. This episode is a great I'm pretty sure I'd say yeah, these episodes are great as well. Mm, should we just go down? Yeah, this might go down. This will be in the path. Yeah. So that's my list. No one else to say. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember if you liked it, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, no always unsubscribe later if you don't want my chunk content or if you want to join me as a program, that's completely fine. And if there's anything else you want me to do on this channel, let me know in the comments down below and of course I might do it. And remember, you matter in this world. There's always someone who will love and care about you. And no matter what you're going through, no matter how hard it is, if you ever think about taking your life, don't. It's not worth it. You might someone loves you. Anyone that someone in this world loves you. And if you don't think so, join the community. I will love you. I love each and every single one of you guys. So until next time. Be happy, stay happy. Later, you beautiful people.